For A through I, in this example, we're asked to find the value of each expression when W equals 2 and simplify our answers. So let's work through these by replacing everywhere we see a W, we're going to put the number 2. So the first one, 2 minus 6, then we simplify 2 minus 6 is negative 4. Part B, 6 minus 2 equals 4. So notice when we're subtracting, the direction matters. W minus 6 is not the same as 6 minus W. 5W minus 3, we're just going to replace W with 2. So 5 times 2 minus 3, well that's 10 minus 3, giving us 7. Part D, W cubed, so replacing W with 2, and the exponent is 3. So 2 cubed, that's 2 times 2 times 2, which is 8. Part E, 3 w squared, or 3 times w squared. We need to write it this way in parentheses so that we do the correct order of operations. We're going to do this part first, 2 squared, so that becomes 3 times 4. Final result should be 12. Let's compare that with part F, where it's the quantity 3w squared. So that's going to be 3 times 2 squared, which is inside parentheses first, 6 squared. 6 times 6 is 36. So notice the difference when the 3 is on the outside of the w squared, and 3 is on the inside first with the w, and then raising the product to the second power. Part G, 4 over 5w, so let's replace w with 2, so that's going to equal 4 over 10, and then we reduce common factor of 2 in the numerator and denominator, gives us 2 fifths. Let's compare that with 5 fourths w, so this is going to be 5 fourths times 2, and remember a whole number is really over 1 as a fraction, so I have common factor of 2 in the numerator and denominator. If I simplify then I get 5 times 1 over 2 times 1, which gives me 5 halves. Part i, 3 to the w, so I'm replacing w with 2 in the exponent. 3 times 3 gives me 9. Moving on to part j, evaluate a times b plus c given these values for a, b, and c. So we're replacing a with negative 5. Put that in parentheses, always. b, we're replacing with 7. And then c, we're replacing with negative 3. So negative 5 times 7 is negative 35 plus a negative gives us minus 3. Negative 35 minus 3 gives us negative 38. And all these can be checked on the calculator. I'm going to use the calculator when we get down to um, these last two parts, but any of these you can practice putting into your calculator as well. Part k, a squared minus b squared given these values for a and b. So again, extremely important that we're using parentheses when we're substituting in values, especially when those values are negative. We didn't use parentheses in all of the parts here, a through i, mostly because the w we were using was positive, but even then it also would be a good idea. So here, back to part k, negative 5 squared minus negative 3 squared. So let me write this out here. Negative 5 times negative 5 is 25. Minus negative 3 times negative 3 
is a positive 9. So this minus is this minus. This minus became a positive when we squared because negative 3 is in parentheses. Same idea with the negative 5. 25 minus 9 gives a result of 16. So let's put this one in our calculator and just verify. So that's negative 5 squared minus parentheses negative 3 squared enter. Confirming our answer is 16. And notice this is very different than what I would get if I did not use parentheses. So let's just put in the terms without parentheses. Really different result. So be very sure that anytime you're substituting in, replacing a variable with a value, especially if it's negative, primarily when it's negative, putting that number in parentheses first to help you be sure your order of operations are correct. Part L, a local window washing company charges $11.92 for each window plus a reservation fee of $7. The total cost for washing W windows is given by 11.92W plus 7. Use this expression to determine the total cost for washing 17 windows. So that means that I'm replacing W with 17. So that's going to give me... 11.92 times 17 plus 7 and let's go ahead and put that in the calculator 11.92 times 17 plus 7 enter so that's 209 64 that means it cost $209.64 to wash 17 windows. We can put that in as a final statement. If we say the cost to wash 17 windows is $209.64.